Uh, great, great meeting you, J-Mo. What's up? How things going? Hey, man, everything kosher, man. You feel me? Everything good, man. It's a pleasure to meet you in person, you know what I'm saying? And so where you from? See, Beaumont, Texas. Nigga, you know where I'm from, nigga. No, how, how is it growing up in Beaumont? See, growing up in Beaumont, man. Ooh. See, I'm from the north end side of town, so 1045 Trinidad Avenue to be exact. See, I'm from the north, man. I'm really from the slums, so, man, growing up in Beaumont, man, really was hard for me. You feel me? My mom had 10 kids, you know what I'm saying? And I went to Lucas Elementary. I was exposed to a lot of shit at an early age because I was on the block, D&D, you feel me? Everybody know D D that's on know you. You know what I'm saying? I was exposed to a lot of shit growing up. So man, growing up, man, I really love growing up. I love the way I grew up. Hmm. How you, how how were you getting along with other people? Shit, man, everybody fuck with me. Shit, I fuck with everybody. If you a people person, I'ma fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? So man, if, if we all get along, I get along with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I get along with, everybody get along with me. See, if you a people person, I'ma fuck with you. Who made you start rapping? Shit, man, growing up, being around, being around rappers, you know what I'm saying? Stunner Low, you know what I'm saying? Prime and Tito, you know what I'm saying? To be exact, I grew up around them, man, you know what I'm saying? And all they did was 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 rap when they was hustling. When we was hustling, all they, all they did was rap, you know what I'm saying? I was the youngest nigga on the block. I was like 10, 10, 11. I was 11, you know what I'm saying? With, with niggas that's 22, 24, I had to, you know what I'm saying, fight with these niggas, man, all the time just to be up there hustling, man. They're like, your ass need to be in school, you know what I'm saying? Right, who, who did you look up to growing up rapping? Shit, man, Stunner. Stunner Low from Gladys. Shit, I looked up to him, shit. Motherfucker me up. I looked up to him, Prime T, you know what I'm saying, Tito. I looked up to them niggas, you know what I'm saying? I looked up to all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all they was doing was rapping. You know what I'm saying? Hustling and rapping. All right. Who made you go to jail? Shit. Man, my first time or just break it down the whole way through? First time. Man, my first time going to jail, man, shit. I, it was in 2012. I was 11 years old. It was for possession of controlled substance. Yeah, man, I was fuck with that crack. But I was selling, though. You know what I'm saying? I was hustling, man. That's what, that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? So, man, my first time, man, I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. I mean, that bitch, I'm nervous. I'm like, man, what's gonna happen? But see, when I'm like, I was in there, when I got in there, I'm like, damn, this jail, this how it is? So it took the feel away from being in jail, you know what I'm saying, from me. It took that feel away from me, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't scared to go to jail no more. I'm like, nigga, if I go to jail, I don't give a fuck. I'm in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? It didn't scare me. In jail, how was it? Shit, in jail, man, at first, man, jail, shit, man. First, man, I was a maniac, a lunatic, motherfucker me. A uh, 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 uncivilized person, you know what I'm saying? I was in that bitch fighting, biting people, all type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I was doing crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I was around people that was doing that, you feel me? I was ex I was exposed to that shit. I, I don't understand how being in jail is good. They say it rehabilitates you. But how is real, real, rehabilitation if you in there with people that's doing the same crimes as you? You know what I'm saying? Rob and kill. They got murders in there. They got... People that did robberies, niggas that beat niggas down, damn near to death, you know what I'm saying? Nigga that did all kind of crazy shit. You in there with rapists. You, I'm in there with rapists. I'm in there with robbers. I'm in there with killers. I ain't never did no crime like that. I done stole, you know what I'm saying? I done broke a niggas' eyes. I done sold dope. But I ain't never did no violent ass crime like they was doing, you know what I'm saying? So being around them made me even more violent or even more aggressive because I had to watch over my shoulder everywhere I went. I ain't trust nobody and they just fucked my head up. I, I lost my trust issues. So are you still on probation? Shit, am I still on man? man everybody know about probation, man. I I motherfucking be just did time, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't do time in no TYC, no juvenile. I'm not in juvenile no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm 18 years old and I'm finna be 19. They suck my ass when I was 17, they suck my ass up that river. You know what I'm saying? Up that river is motherfucking me. State jail, you know what I'm saying? So I went to state jail. I was at the Hutchins unit in Hutchins, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Two minutes away from Dallas, Texas. I'm in there with people that's been locked up for 30, 40 years, you know what I'm saying? Old people, you know what I'm saying? I'm up in there with people four, five times older than, than me, you know what I'm saying? I'm 18, I got people in there 60, 70, you know what I'm saying? Waiting on going home, you feel me? I ain't got lost their family because they done did 20, 30 years, you know what I'm saying? And it just opened my eyes. It was an eye opener. Like, I, I opened my eyes like, 
I don't want this for my life. You know what I'm saying? That's what made me feel deep inside. I don't want this for my life. And I stopped hanging around people and I just went to books, man. I educated my mind, you feel me? Knowledge really is power. I just opened up a book, man. And the book that I started reading, man, it was a pair from a white horse. From a brown horse, I mean. And that shit just opened my eyes right there. I went from there, man, and was reading and reading and reading. Every day you catch me, I'm reading. All writing, all writing lyrics, writing songs. I got over a hundred songs wrote, now but said. Every time a nigga seen me, I'm writing songs or reading. Alright, everything over now and we jail, so what's the plan now? Shit, the plan, man, the plan. This the plan, man, so the plan is give me a job, be a, 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 a citizen of the United States, you know what I'm saying? Be really, you know what I'm saying, somebody that is, they got a family. I want to have a family, man. I really do. I'm a family person. You know what I'm saying? I love my family. You know what I'm saying? I see all these people with families and shit. You know what I'm saying? I just did a lot of shit in my life, man. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot, man. And I feel like, man, I don't want to have to do that no more. I want to have to... I want people to depend on me. You know what I'm saying? I want to have a wife. I want to have kids. I want to have somebody that look up to me. You know what I'm saying? Not in no bad way. Because I got people out there that's looking at me in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? Negative. You know what I'm saying? People like, oh man, j Mo to shit. I ain't, I, I'm a nobody, man. I ain't nothing, man. I, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a regular ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm regular ass nigga, man. I got people out there looking up to me and I'm doing wrong. I don't want to want nobody when I die, oh, he was he was a bad person. I want people when I die, man, he was a good person. Go to my funeral and be happy that I died, that I... I went home, home to heaven. You feel me? Oh. All right, good luck and thank you. And it's a pleasure to meet you in person. Oh yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you too, Maurice, man. Real talk, man. Like I like to thank you, man, for just doing this interview for, with me and shit like that, man. We gonna keep the interview going. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, man. But see, that video coming out soon for all y'all hating ass niggas, man. I'm home. All y'all talking down, yeah, I'm really in a real studio now. Free my nigga Jern, free my oldest brother, Mark D out the motherfucking pen, free the hog. Gladys, Texas, you know what I'm saying? I ain't from Gladys, but free. You feel me? All the hogs that's locked down. You feel me? Free everybody from the know you. Free all my niggas, man, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking me, uh, I'm in a real studio now, nigga. Yeah, Jerm, shout out to my nigga Jerm. You know what I'm saying? Free him too. I'm in a real studio now. So y'all can't say a nigga making song on the phone. Nah, I'm in a real studio. We finna make motherfucking video. We finna be the hottest in Beaumont, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We finna blow up for real, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Prime, Sniper Game Prime, SOTMG Prime. You feel me from the guards? Freak all my niggas, man. Real talk, man. I love y'all, man. For all of, everybody that's looking up to me, they look, they, 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 they kill for me, man. I really appreciate y'all, man. For all the positive people out there, I thank y'all, man. Maurice, I appreciate you for the interview, man. Coming all the way from Houston, I thank you, man, for following up on me, for writing me. Man, I thank everybody that wrote me when I was down. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It was two people, you know what I'm saying? Two people that looked out for me, man. I love you, boy. Deontic, I love you, too. Shout out to everybody, man. Real talk, man. For everybody that just, just, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't mean to hold you, but, you know what I'm saying, man? Shout out to the whole BMT, man. And we need to stop the violence, man. Stop all this shit, man. We taking each other's lives, man. We need to stop that. You don't see the white folks out there in the West End killing each other. You know what I'm saying? It's all, everybody in the South and the North. Let's stop it, man. I thank y'all. Love y'all, man.